friends welcome back to my channel today I have this voltage interfacing board and it is using a huge number of optocouplers we can see this is complete line and here how we can test optocoupler and it is four channel optocoupler ILQ5 to test it in easy way you can make this simple tester and you can test in the field just only apply 12 volts that is common power supply when we press this push button all channels will receive the forward voltage for the LED and it will provide a switched voltage from the output transistor as you can see this IC is good and if I will use this IC this channel is off and if I test another IC this channel is not working so in this way we can troubleshoot very easily because it is the most common failure component so you can test optocouplers and you can create your own tester for every optocoupler if you are using one channel two channel three channel four channel how many channels paste the same template and create your own tester let's start how we will make it I have this voltage interfacing board and it is using a series of optocouplers 21 optocoupler ICs are used so it is interfacing between the microcomputer microcontroller and the voltage section how we can verify because these are most problematic items in optocoupler when we are connecting interfacing voltage it makes too many problems how we can test very easily let's start let's check it I will use project board and it is using ILQ5 this optocoupler it have four optocouplers inside it is into a dual package 8 pin and 16 pin four optocouplers are separate to each other and its forward current for CTR calculation it is 10 milliampere it is test condition if you see it spin out here is pin number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and each two pins are categorized with a special mark on the pins that this is one optocoupler the similar here this is one optocoupler we will configure just only one optocoupler and the other we will use the same template I will use 12 volts power supply and if you see its data sheet it is using 10 milliampere if you see input the forward voltage 1.25 to 1.65 we will consider the mid range it is at 60 milliampere maximum supply voltage we will use 12 volt minus the LED voltage we will use 1.3 volt supply voltage minus LED voltage divided by the current 0 0.01 ampere 10 milliampere it will become 1070 1070 ohms we will use the common resistor 1 kilo ohm it is good so here we will use ground and 1 kilo ohm and we will connect a test signal here using a push button we will connect this positive and same we will connect positive voltage here this positive 12 volt we need a resistor LED to display the signal value we are using 12 volt minus 1.4 volt for the transistor 12 minus 1.4 volt for this transistor minus 1.8 volt for the LED how much our remaining voltage divide it with we will use 10 milliampere current for this LED 0.01 so it will use 880 ohm resistor here we need 1 kilo ohm here we need 880 we can use also 
one kilo ohm resistor here we will connect one kilo ohm resistor to each anode and all cathodes we will connect to ground we will connect direct 12 volt to each collector and at emitter we will connect one kilo ohm resistor and LED we can say this one it will take one kilo ohm resistor anode at this anode one kilo ohm at this anode pin number five anode pin number eight anode pin two three cathode two cathode for the first one three cathode for the second six number pin is cathode here seven cathode here and we will connect these all pins collector pins this collector and collector together this collector and collector together we will connect to positive 12 volt we can say pin number 10 11 14 15 16 is emitter 13 9 and 12 emitter first of all we will take one IC and we will place in any one portion of this board we will connect here and we will make identification so that any time we want to install new IC we can test we can also use 16 pin base to make it so pin number one it will connect it to positive voltage to the test signal so here we will apply test signal in the positive DC rail lower side pin 1, pin 4, 2, 3 and this pin number 4, pin number 5 a resistor we will connect resistor in each one line so we will program every line separately then the last pin that is pin number 8 so every anode will be supplied with separate test signal and here we will apply a test signal here yes it is connected and we will connect all cathodes to the ground pin 2 pin 3 pin number 6 and pin number 7 okay we will connect all pins to the ground side and at the switch we will apply positive voltage and we will connect the ground line ground supply to this bottom line or we can connect ground supply here anywhere so we connected all the anodes to resistors pin 1 4 5 and number 8 pin we connected to the test signal that we apply we are applying from from this push button we will connect resistor at pin number 16 the last pin pin number 16 we will connect resistor and we will connect LED LED small lead this one it is cathode if we see inside the large terminal that is cathode we will connect between ground then the second output we will take from pin number 13 and we will connect the second LED and then we will connect to pin number 9 and 12 this is our pin number 12 and we will take output from pin number 9 and we will make ground to all LEDs this is our ground line and we will make positive voltage here we will apply positive voltage in the top side we will apply positive voltage here ground here now we will connect positive voltage to pin number 10 11 13 14 10 pin number 11 13 and 14 these two pins we will connect all these pins to positive voltage now our tester is ready we will apply positive voltage here positive 12 volt 
and here we are connecting ground voltage just now we can see the last one gate here the last optocoupler is not working we check the signal signal is reaching good it is ok 7 and ground ok ok we can check another optocoupler ILQ5 I will install this one first I will remove it this one the last last LED was off now we will check now the system change the last one LED from the this one the last uplocoupler this one it was bad and this one the first one number pin number 16 that is not working good okay now let's check this one yes this one the four optocouplers are good so these two we detected that these are bad this one is good okay we can check okay we can check this one randomly we will check its number 3 is not working 1 2 3 that is this optocoupler it is not working we can install a 16 pin socket here on this board and we can connect these LEDs on that I will make it in our upcoming video we will make it and just only remove IC put here apply 12 volt and push up uh, give a push button it will give the ok or not in this way we can make the tester for these optocouplers and we can detect the bad component within no time. If this video is informative, if it is informative hit the like button. If you have any question let me know in the comment box. Thanks for watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.